Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues using a special submod called Old World Blues Arizona Reborn. But we gotta begin with a focus called our destruction. The destruction of the Arizona Rangers at the hands of the Legion ultimately led to their near complete control over the region. After nearly a decade of perpetual conflict between the Arizona Rangers and Kaiza's Legion, it became clear that the lad would be the victor. In the face of complete destruction, the Rangers decided that they would continue to slow the Legion's advance. Discretion was the better part of Valor. The big iron. Ooh, get some manpower too. That ain't bad. 25 army XP or 75 army XP. Um, I'm gonna go with 25. Get, this is not much. And we get some big irons, which we don't really need probably too much of. Never mind. We need them. Okay, we'll take them. Um, that's still old world blues. So we can still technically use the research slot to get the land auction, which will be fun. The aftermath. Despite their destruction, remnants of the Arizona Rangers still reside in the independent cowboy country, ending our isolation. With the eyes of the Legion and the two sons on us, we cannot stand out. Something must be done. And something will be done, my friends. Can't wait to remake the state of Arizona. Also, this is on a historical, but the aftermath. Despite the best efforts, the Arizona Rangers were defeated by the Mata Kaisar. But most of the remaining members found refuge in the New California Republic, while a small splinter group remained in the outskirts of Arizona with a thin cowboy country. What were the Rangers' remnants doing uh, most concerned with about the doorstep of the Legion? Freedom and liberty. Ooh. Survival and protection. Ooh. Starting level. Okay, so here are the National Spirits to begin with, anyways. Remnants of the Arizona Rangers. Not bad. Pretty nice. And we also have Arizona's last bastion of liberty. Recruitable population factor, stability, starting defense skill level of new army leaders, which we, will, we only have one leader right now. Appeal to refugees, defense bonus goes up by 5%. Survival and protection, 5% even more defense, freedom and liberty. Refugee assimilation. I, I like that political power. As much as I want to get another starting level of new army leaders, that's very strong. Oh, political power. Oh, you know, we can always get more political power. How much do we get right now? 1.25? You know what? Ooh, survival, protection, freedom, and liberty. Oh, I, oh, I like this one a lot. Starting level new army leaders. That's going to help be very helpful. Uh, even more recruitable population factor. But eventually, this Kaiser's Legion one is not going to matter too much. Freedom. I got I want to go with freedom and liberty. I want to go with that one. But recruitable population. Eventually, starting new... Start level starting level the new army leaders won't matter too much. I'll go to freedom of liberty. God dang it, whatever. Our future. The de facto leader of Cowboy Country, Billy Clanton, adopted a policy of isolationism in the hope that Cowboy Country would be ignored by the Legion. However, it soon became painfully obvious that they were one of the Legion's next targets. Especially apparent considering one of Kaiser's subjects, two sons have been itching to prove themselves for the conquest of Sonora. Billy Clanton did not realize that the error of his policies made preparations to gather the Arizona Ranger remnants and any others willing to fight for one final battle against the Legion. No, although unlikely, the earliest that two sons can attack Cowboy Country is in two months. Additionally, they must be swiftly defeated lest Kaiser were to join them. We must not falter. Approach to Hono Nation. Rally the people. Ardent defenders. More entrenchment speed defense the core territory. Uh, you know, it's not bad. Waste and militia. We lose some stability. Approach to Hono Nation. Oh, rally the people. Dorius Tucson wishes to prove the worth of Kaiser through the conquer, conquest of cowboy country in the Tohono Nation. Although some will be unhappy about it apart from isolationism, we must be prepared to resist the impending invasion. Well, we'll see what we can do. Arizona Ranger looking pretty good. Um, I almost always go for inspiration because they're level 5, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll go with Cunning Fox, probably. Billy Clanton. Not terrible. The Strills. Approach to Tohono Nation. Most ally with the only other Democratic nation in Arizona to have a fight and chance at resisting that their legion. We'll see what we can do. Gather intel on them. Oh, that's not bad. More encryption. Cash expenses goes down. Ooh, organized military workshops. A good number of the Arizona Rangers would have kept fighting against the Legion, but a lack of proper weaponry and ammo forced them to retreat. This time, we must ensure that we not only have the vigor to fight, but also, of course, the means. Tono Nation accepts. A Tono Nation accepted a request. For an alliance, our plans for the creation of the Arizona Pact have already been set in motion. <coughs> we hope that our alliance will be mutually beneficial and improve the security of our new communities. Ooh. Hey, we're a major power now. Look at that. Discourage, promote caravan companies. Passive caps income. It's not bad. I organize agriculture, too. Well, let's encourage trade. <clears throat> Cowboy country lacks a number of industries and resources that can be made up uh, through trade with the Tono Nation. Actually, I should not click on that. He got one one more skill attack. What the heck? How do you do that? I should have read that. My bad. I mean, you can go back in the video to see that, but my bad. If it's just us two, should be okay. We've got different templates here, too. So we have Wyatt's Servants. This is 14 combat with, with support firearms. we got... 
Ultimo Banditos, 14 combo with, with anti-tank weaponry. And we also have, of course, Special Forces, which are only 14 combo with Recon. And we have these three here, too. 10 combo with. Now it falls in. Okay. Usually, I'm used to that one. My bad. I should have read that one earlier. My, my fault. I'm going to curse trade first. Um, gather basic firearms. Uh, what are we missing here? We're actually doing okay. Industry planning, combat language is not bad. Uh, three outposts. <clears throat> Free tech. Learn from the expert cultivators. The people of the Tohono O'Donam Odom nation are particularly knowledgeable in agriculture. Perhaps we can learn from them. Bravas tools. Work is needed. Agriculture. Construction basics. Thank you very much. I'd love to get more stability, but we're going to go and grab this guy down here first. Decorate a hero? No. Person in the community? No. We need to form Arizona, though. Um, here. We lose some more support. We get 5% more political power, which we use for the rest of the campaign. Ain't bad. Industrial cooperation. Uh, arms and a city, but that's 30 days. Draft battle plans. I'll gather intel on two sons, just in case. We're well aware of the Frumentari. The Legion's for a remarkably dangerous intelligence agency. We need to establish our own if we wish to counter any enemy infiltration and obtain information about them. <clears throat> More monthly population, faster civilian uh, factory construction speed. Not bad. Pretty good. Draft battle plans. A bonus for conventional warfare. Why not? Battle plans must be created so that we'll know what, ahead of time what needs to be done to defend certain areas and counter enemy offensives. It wouldn't also hurt to plan offenses on two sons in case we ever get the upper hand. And we can provoke them. Um, what is this? Um, encourage service. Caps expenses does go down. It's not bad. We need more soldiers. We plan on standing up the legion. Our citizens must be convinced to take up arms to defend themselves, their families, and the freedom. Why not? Scavenging assistance. Uh, passive caps. Thirty more of that. That's not bad. That's not bad either. While cooperating with the Tono Nation in a number of industrial projects, we can increase the production of munitions and equipment. We're not making anything though right now, which does kind of suck. Um, rebels from Phoenix. A group of rebels from the failed Phoenix uprising arrived in their territory after being crushed by Kaiser's legionnaires. They've asked us to allow them to join our new ranks, continue fighting against the Legion. If they're willing to fight, we'll let them come. I'm not sure what this is. Seems kind of empty to me. Militias, of course. Nothing there. Um, I guess, if anything. Teodores? Missing some infantry equipment. <clears throat> By cooperating with the Tony Nation number of industrial projects, we can increase the production of munitions equipment like I read earlier. Which is very, very good. Seed selection. We have enough manpower for now, I think. Could be wrong. Draft battle plans. Uh, they must be created so they will know what, ahead of time what needs to be done to defend certain areas and counter enemy offensives. It also wouldn't hurt to plan offenses on two sons in case we ever get the upper hand. Melkor Fagoaga. Mad Bomber. Nice. So we're on Wasteland Economy. We do want to go to well equipped Army. We might have to go to every cap for the Army as well, but we'll see. Uh, military Theorists. You know what? Get that one first. Just because I want more daily Army XP if we can. Do some battle plans. Ain't bad. Begin Economic uh, Cooperation. That's not bad either. So when can we go to war with them? I'm kind of ready to go. If it's just us two fighting each other, I'm okay with that, but still. Um, it's in faction. is a puppet. Uh, implement agricultural practices. By utilizing the practice of the Tohono Nation, we begin to increase the quality and yield of our crops. <coughs> Open new trade routes. Open up new trade routes with further attainment of food and of supplies, as well as making general travel and communication between us and the Tohono Nation even easier. Juan Zapata. Nice. People killing each other, but it's a waste. Then what do you expect? And get a lot of free technology. I love this. I love free technology. Offer scavenging assistance. Where are we at? Two, one. Uh, Resource-wise, not bad. We're actually, not too bad. It's only 15 days though. Since both of our communities are needed raw materials, our experienced scavengers can combine their efforts to better clear out old ruins for space and supplies. Ah, nothing like good old naval warfare. So, oh, I forgot about this stuff too. Why supplies uh, goes down? Special forces, that's not bad either. And they're not mutually exclusive either, so. I've never actually used this before. No screws loose. Doctrinal schools. Well, 
Fuck, well, supply use goes down, more daily army, or just da more experience gain? Why not? Scavenging assistance as well is pretty nice. Uh, secure the Gila Passage. So the Gila Passage is clear of vulnerability against a potential Legion invasion. Uh, it's a fortification with vast improved defensive capabilities. Teach weapon manufacturing. The Tohono Nation is proficient enough in self-defense to fend off banned raiders. However, defending against hordes of legionnaires may pose a, pose a problem. Farming expansion. Irrigation systems can be built in order to expand the suitable areas in which to plant crops. Begin economic integration. The coordination of economic development and standardization between cowboy country and Tohono Nation will allow us to more efficiently use resources and produce goods. Um, recruit uh, veteran rangers. The assistance of former members of the Arizona Rangers who have experience of fighting against the Legion will be extremely valuable. With them, we may even be able to advance and recapture some of our lost territory. Or raise militias? We need the cooperation of local militias that help defend smaller settlements and support our main armed forces. Provoke two sons. We're prepared and ready for two sons' attack. It's coming sooner or later, so let's not waste any more time. Nice. Um, so basically, we control whenever they want to attack us. Um, gather some basic firearms. We must employ a combination of scavenging and four old weapons piles and producing makeshift firearms to ensure that anyone willing to fight is able to. Um, so I think they can go to war with, with, with us whenever they want. Fight to faction, huh? Oh, oh, we already war. No. Oh, they're at war with the ranchers. They're at war with us. Interesting. Um, I guess after that, manufacture high caliber rifles as well. Two sons is. Oh, whoops. Everyone about follows the apocalypse. Please go ahead. Renowned for the use of armored vehicles to break through the enemy front lines um, and wreck havoc on organized defenses. Rifles of a large enough caliber should be enough to pierce and disable these vehicles, removing a vital component to their strategy. Makes produce makeshift saws. Legionnaires have been known to rush enemy positions with melee weapons alone. Their sheer number, allowing for their success. A sufficient amount of firepower in the form of squad automatic weapons will be countered to this tactic and force them to contend with an unmatched marksmanship. Sure, guys. Let's see if we can go in. Can we actually do well here? Well, so far, not bad. Especially if it's just us versus two sons. Hopefully, the Legion doesn't come in. If it's just us, we'll do fine. Anything here for y'all? No? For a tactic? Nothing there? And yeah, I'm glad we went to Wilco Army. There's nothing else right there. Oh, in a second, look at that. Probably can't really pierce him too much, but that's okay. Lost 26 versus oh, 500. That's not bad so far. That's really not bad at all. Um, making that work. Right there ish. Do have any planes either? No. That sucks. Alright, so after this one, pretty sport equipment. Our Liberty Tucson. More specialized equipment such as binoculars, medicine, tools will help supplement our main fighting force through constant recovery and maintenance. Hey, we won! Good job, guys. Very cool. A jewel and a crown. Go, two cents battle plans gone. That's fine, whatever. Um, I'm gonna say yeah for now, why not? And then we'll go with uh fashion splash op gear. Our special forces need additional gear and supplies to be able to carry out very important military operations effectively. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Alright. You know what? Just get us started with that stuff and then close out of that. Let's get back to Ooh, don't want to forget that we do need to do this. Waste some pacification. Militia is good enough. Actually, what is rallied militia? Five versus four? There's literally no difference. Alright. Economic precision is great. Motorized flight. Try playing attackers would be very nice. Good, good, good. Uh, focus on consumer goods. Sure, more stability is always good. They're established. I'll establish themselves. Actually, close out of this one. And keep open the followers of the apocalypse because they're actually very useful sometimes. Sometimes. Um, that's what put us in a two front war, which is not a good idea for us at all, but whatever. Liberal Tucson. Although many are unaware that two son and used to be called Tucson, many prior members of the Arizona Rangers still remember the same. After all, it used to be the HQ of the old Arizona Rangers. Now that they're in our hands, and those loyal to the Tucson already fled in the legion, we can begin, free, begin freeing its people. Former Arizona. The liberation of Tucson and the communities of the Tohono Nation and the Cowboy Country becoming increasingly unified, many feel it appropriate to officially become. Um, together as one entity, better to fight against the legion. Pretty much. Nice. Bastion of Liberty. Cool. Choosing your capital. Forming Arizona. Very awesome. At this point, I just wanted all our divisions to become Teodoras. 80 combo width. It's not bad. Uh, do we have enough anti-tank? No, we don't, but we will soon. Recon. 
Uh, let's actually use recon. Ah, that's good to do it anyways. Crowd control. That's a little bit ahead of time. It's a little bit ahead of time. We got the solids. We got the antique dynamite recon. We said uh, ahead of time. We're still working on that stuff. Robotics. Can't do anything there. Uh, motorcycles. Uh, get brush balloons. Why not? What are we missing? Guns? Yeah. Lots of guns. Go up to three. Go to two there, too. Nice. And you guys, border raiders, which aren't very that great. Not bad. Form Arizona. I form the Arizona Rangers. <clears throat> oh, wow. That looks really cool. Advanced navigation. Go mechanic returns to Tucson. A girl named Raul has joined or arrived in Tucson after having left the city when it was still thrown, known as Tucson. He still remembers his pre-war name and is quite an experienced mechanic. We should welcome him as a new citizen of Arizona and look into recruiting him for a cause. Nice. Infrastructure. Fortifications would be very good. Operation Rising Phoenix. Ranger Legion War Tactics. Communication stuff. Oh, we get primitive radio. Oh. That's kind of cool. Transport air gliders. Oh, refit riot armor. Oh, it reestablished the University of Arizona first. The University of Arizona has been established in Tucson before the Great War and was the center of scientific research and development. Restoring and establishing, reestablishing the university will help improve our research base and further our technological advances. Big old stuff, not bad. Research speed factory output. Brush guns. So you hidden valley. Selling Sonora. Arizona offers Sonora for an alliance. Thousand guns, and the weaponry versus Sonora's Sur 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 Arizona. Yeah. Integrate Enta del Sol. Oh, Ultimo Harbor. Oh, we definitely have to go that way. If we can fight them by themselves, that'd be worth it. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Because after this focus part of the focus, the war, war never changes. Okay, so we got, oh, it's forty-five day focus. Uh, I thought it was like seventeen. Okay, my bad. Go on trade as well. Uh, you guys are doing what? You guys are all just new new folks, which is fine. All right, how about the settlements? That's always good to do. Um, do we need more water? Water's okay for now. We probably will need some more later. Research speed. Um, I'll stick up Petro Chico. Survivalist. Well, former Arizona. Muzzle went to Quinton Lopez. Why not? She's in the capital. Now that we're from Arizona, expand our territory quite a bit. We need to decide on which city should be our capital. We decided on three main candidates. Yuma, Puerto Penasco, or Tucson. As much as like Puerto Penasco, Yuma's most populous. Puerto Penasco is a good a central location, which is very true. And Tucson was the home of the Rangers. Yeah, I like Yuma. It's, it's Phoenix, the capital of Arizona right now. So Yuma is over here. Which is very weird for me to see, because of this map, it doesn't look like it's, it should be like all the way over there, but whatever. I like Yuma a lot. But Tucson. Tucson. Yeah. Oh, it's home of the Arizona Rangers. Choosing your name. Must say whether you be a new Republican the waste, having connections to the old U.S., probably known as Arizona. The state of Arizona? Well, that sounds like there's other states. The Republic of Arizona. Just Arizona. Um. The Republic of Arizona? The Arizona Republic. The A-R? Not, instead of R-A? Um, we're a bunch of, you know, Rangers. Let's go to the Republic of Arizona. I love that flag. I, Arizona, I don't, I, the more I learn about Arizona, the more I like it. I don't know. I'm getting weird. So that's, that's actual our division. Why is the four companies like that though? Oh, we have some motorized. Oh, that's interesting. Toy combat, so actually, take out the motorized. Um, put you right there, that's fine. That's fine. Nice. Very good. Uh, go to four, go to three, and go to that many. Overall, not bad. Putting another milli, but let's get a city first. Eventually, we'll build up a whole bunch of roads for more resources for the most part. Eventually, though, we won't really need them all. Barrage balloons, very nice. Black Knight Fighter's good. Just click it on so I don't have to deal with it. Goodbye. Good. Mess Stimulus in Tucson. Battle plan's good. So this gives you a little, slightly more entrenchment for infantry. Interesting. After this one, um, Sonora's Arizona. Yeah. Can we actually take them on? If we go to war with them, is it by themselves or is it with someone else? That's my question. Generalissimo. Well, we could try it. 
So nor is Arizona. Leader of Vento del Sol, Generalissimo Viale. As a treacherous man who only cares for profits, yet it takes no issue in supporting the Legion through his sales weapons to them. We must take him out before they become another front with to defend it from the south. Right now, are they part of the Legion? No, they're not. Okay. Yeah. Now is the time definitely to take him out. Let's save real quick first. I guess we have four destroyers too, huh? Just fine, whatever. Nice. Very good. I'll come over here anyways. Uh, two. When do we get there? Um, establish AAF. Support. Communications equipment. The expected a volume of attacks from the Legion is comparative that we are aware of any potential breach or defenses through the use of wireless communication. <coughs> well, let's see what we can do. Do we have any planes? We have a whole seven gliders. Well, it's better than nothing. Actually, go to 50. Well, we'll see what happens. Are we pretty much good to go? Almost three, two, one. Let's go. Yes, please. We have no allies. We are our own allies. In there. Um, tactically minded, more planning. Versus, we always get a guy like this. We probably go that way. Uh, Aerial Explorer, that's not bad. We can't make it a cast yet. Drill Surgeon is not bad. Don't really need that though. Special Forces attack. Go with Division Organization first. Not bad. Hey, you know, it's Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, there was an encirclement, but now lo no longer exists. But now exists one more time. 83 versus 400, not bad so far. Uh, you may want to come through here. Oh. War measures, propaganda. Duh. Yeah, that'd be good to do as well. What do you get every single day? 1.21? Hey, the guns will soon be ours. <coughs> Sonora. Very nice. Form the Arizona Rangers. With the official reformation of Arizona, it wouldn't be unprecedented to reform the Arizona Rangers as well, especially with the history of resistance against the Legion. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Help oh, no. out. Uh, stonks? Nice. Oh, crap. Oopsie. Well, we lost all ships. Six, six ships. Whatever. 200 versus 800. How are the planes doing? We got like no planes. We got five planes left. A thousand manpower left for them. Not bad. I don't understand why all you guys are not helping at the same time. You're making no sense to me. Of course, infantry is not really good to use like this. You really want to use special forces to help attack and find holes in the enemy's lines and stuff like that, but still. You really do need to buff our own guys. Uh, close out of that one. Uh, yeah, I don't need that one either. Riders will keep. Motorized, not bad. Infantry template 3. Rally militia, I don't need that one either. 14 combat width. Oh, they're exactly the same. Recruited Arizona Rangers. Runs. Let's call them the Rangers. Good. Alright, so anyone just hold for now. Recover. We've lost a lot, so let's wait. So it's 400 versus 1,000. Not bad. Give us the time to get more max planning. Give us a couple more days and we'll attack them again. Mm, orb up again would be good first. Nice. Ref refit ride armor. Pre war ride armor is proven to be effective and durable, especially against melee weapons. Advanced versions of the helmets also provide vision and targeting assistance. It would be in our best bet to provide any scavenge set to our rangers and study them in hopes of being able to produce some of the, our own in the future. Nice. That would be a fourth feature slot. very good as well. Uh, no, no. 
logistics. Um, I must see y'all. I'm looking for areas where we can make an encirclement, maybe. Smoke signals, maybe here. Should be able to win there. <clears throat> They're low in trench, but we can pierce them, which is good. Here, attack them here too. Boom, boom. Now we get to here. Maybe. Biplane fighters, nice. Uh, industry. There you go. Oh, oh, enclave. Wait, what? Oh, it's not the actual enclave, enclave like enclave of war, but it's the enclave. Probably all gonna die. Which is fine with us. Oh, the AI was smart to move their divisions out, but not smart enough. What? The... Maybe we'll see. Um. Go fortifications. Or break these goes good. How are we can we not win here? Well, if you Alright, well you wanna give up your territory, so be it. Um Go fortifications. Connect major population centers. Our nation needs accessible transportation between our two main population centers of Yuma Tucson, as well as the yet smaller yet central city of Puerto Penasco. Should be able to do well there. Um, occupy territories, 14% resistance is not bad. Out of this one, ramp up arms production. Oh, weapons production. Well, the continued efforts to improve the industrial capabilities, we can massively increase the rate at which we produce munitions and other military equipment. Something we definitely, 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 definitely need. Where? Nice. Very good. Small, slow, steady attacks. Well, they're bending the line, which is not bad for us. Um, he's already inspirational, which is good. You can be using just infantry in the entire time, so that's fine. Mysterious Stranger's fine. Um, I want to do another general attack, but we got to wait first. It looks like they're still bending the line. Senor, where are you going? Ah. Senor, very nice. We're running around a whole bunch of the desert here. Good, we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm though. What if we did that? It's probably a bad idea. Lost 600 versus 1000, encode signals. Get that one anyways, who cares, it's headed of time, whatever. Down here, take out the radar. Now they have no radar. It's muy bueno. Yay. Now that should definitely help out our. Oh, that will really help us out. Oh, yeah. Great Mongols, very nice. Motivation, because you can. Uh, refurbished solar plants. Arizona has a lot of sun, a lot of dead. They're perfect for solar panels, but not so much for anything else. Pretty much. Pretty much. 
Overall, not bad. Gives a lot of experience. Which is good, good, good. I don't know if I want to make our divisions any bigger. I want more planes. That's probably the biggest thing. I want a crap ton more planes. You want to force defense. Well, then we'll just force attack. That's how it works here. I got Stens? It's gonna nuts. Nice. Yeah, integrate Hento del Sol. Now that the director lies dead, we can begin integrating the people of Hento del Sol. Give quite a bit more compliance. Well, that's resistance target. Very nice. I'm Optimo Harbor. I'm the leader of Hento del Sol and plans to obtain our Optimo territory and construct a large port to dominate shipping in the Gulf of California. With a position Optimo secured, let's implement these plans. Advanced irrigation. Despite the lack of water near Zona Sonora, crops have been able to thrive due to advanced irrigation systems developed by Tohono Nation. Implementing these systems through our land will allow for water to be provided to the places that need it the most. And Sunbelt agriculture. Arizona is said to be in the region called the Sunbelt, characterized by a warm and sunny climate. This makes it suitable for a variety of crops that should be considered expanding the cultivation of. And now, everyone, we are doing Eastern Farms. The territory east of Tucson is simply empty and rather poorly developed due to the Tucson choosing to construct an an excess of large race tracks. We can correct this by establishing new farms in the area, but we'll still keep some of the race tracks because they are, admittedly, rather amusing. And canning factories. Our level of food production surpasses the rate at which it is consumed. We should consider focusing more on preparing and storing food for transportation and longevity rather than increasing our base production of raw food products. We lose three scrap, but you know, it's, it's only three scrap. That's fine, whatever. More soft tax is very good too. Um, looking pretty good. I have consolidated divisions a little bit more. We still have the motorized here, which is not bad. Uh, keep training. Keep training. When in doubt, keep training. Uh, other than that, canning factories. Very nice. We could try Operation Rising Phoenix. Complete this, folks. We'll start a 90-day countdown, which will conclude with the Legion obtaining a war goal against us. Oh, well then. Um, we might want to wait then. Three, oh, shnikes. That's a lot of division manpower. We don't quite have that quite yet. Uh, we might want to wait then. Establish your AAF. The creation of separate branches of the armed forces dedicated to air warfare will give us an advantage not possessed by the Legion. This new Arizona Air Force will be able, should be able to gain air superiority uh, over the Legion. Hey, not bad. Ice uh, generation chest, 20% air mission, air wing mission experience gain plus 50%. It's not bad either. So, yeah, why not? Two some mechanics would also be very good as well. We'll do that one next. Or, ooh, that's not bad. But uh, many of the mechanics residing within Tucson objected against Kaiser's rule and are willing to help our cause. They have invaluable experience of working with machinery and ma vehicles, making them useful to have in working on developing new technologies. I'm trying to develop more uh, civvies up here, of course. We could use more millies, though, too. Building a lot of infrastructure. Nice Tucson, yes. Wall of Diana, oh boy. Over here, go and grab pretty much whatever else we need. Doesn't really matter to me too much right now. More special forces. Good. Clay working, nice. Keep training, keep training, keep training. Because my gosh, we're going to need a lot of training. Um, medical stuff. Uh, what else can we do around here that would help? Well, be help very helpful. Uh, special forces attack. Don't really need that right now. Planes, stuff like that. Infrastructure, stability. Support equipment. It's not bad. Power armor. Special forces. Uh, that's not bad, but we'll see. Can we upgrade it again? Oh, is it Hento del Sol? No. Okay. Also, we did core some of these states already, so... This one can't be core just yet. This one can, which is good. It only costs eight, which is awesome, 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 awesome possums. Aerial ambushes? And we could try. Similar to the Legion, we must also utilize novel tactics to confuse and surprise enemy combatants. Using aircraft and parachutes will allow our special operations teams <clears throat> to land behind enemy lines and carry out missions to cripple the Legion's advances. Why not? Might as well, right? And I do both. Command demilitarization, well, they can go kiss themselves. So this one's next. We'll get there. 59 factories ain't bad. Keep work, working, working, working. Nice. Air sport, aerial ambushes. We could try it. Why not? Uh, build fortifications. Defensible uh, locations are needed if we were to withstand a full blown invasion. Pretty much. <clears throat> um, 
yeah, so here's how the map looks like. There's these last three, and they're all valuable to, you know, get done. This one's probably the most valuable. Yeah. 92, 89, 90%, so we'll get there in just a little bit. As we're making divisions quite quickly, I would say. Quite quickly. But then again, i got to pull you guys out under new commander. Uh, military Academy training, no. We want this one instead. Military Academy officers down here. Just because we have, <clears throat> excuse me, waterways that we have to deal with as well. There are ambushes. There you go. Nice. Build fortifications. Because you can. 94%. Almost there. Anti armor tactics. Very good. Oh, we're going to do some radios. Only nine? That's so good. Nice. All cord. Great. After that one, counter human wave of offensives. Seeing of arrays of machine gun nests overlooking open stretches of death would help deter large, direct large scale assaults. Very good. Can we afford this? How's our money looking? Oh, quarterly profits. Yeah, we can afford this. Fine. Demand demilitarization. Oh, no. Oh, well. Locations, greater uh, naval landings. In addition to our land borders, we will also need to keep a watch for any invasions via naval vessels. Excavate this. Oh, dedicated equipment. That's not bad. Oh, let's come over here first, though. Um, you know what? How about your speech stonks? Very nice. That's very good. Dedicated equipment. Might as well do that one already. Because we're still lacking a lot of infantry equipment and stuff like that. So, you guys, unfortunately, well, you'll have to deal with a lot of this stuff over here. Three divisions, I don't think it'll be enough to hold out there. <clears throat> Along these waterways, that's another story. Yeah, we're definitely not in any shape really ready to go to war yet. This line is barely even... We barely have enough divisions on this line as is. Naval landings? Watch out for naval vessels and whatnot. After this one, uh, weapons development too. Allocating our mechanics and scientists to focus on weapon development, military equipment, should be priority given our... Mm. Uh, certain current circumstances. Well, actions, consumer goods, yeah, get more stability. 47% is not good enough. Yeah. Uh, for now, I just want you to go do that. Don't want to deal with that. That'll make it really easy. Um, as for, of course, as soon as we get that one done, those guys go. Yeah, they will navally land against us and stuff like that too, so. But we're looking not too bad. The Legion's looking okay. <clears throat> they have a crap ton of manpower, a crap ton of divisions, which is pretty normal. So, yeah. I wish we could core more stuff. We don't get that much political power. A good amount, but not still not enough. Oh, portable radios. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh... Oh. Oh. Because you help defend the area here too. That should be it in terms of divisions. Miguel Maja, Lone Wolf. A lot less max entrenchment. Oh crap, this guy's not good. Yeah, he's not good at all. What a waste of command power. Absolute waste. Air support. We can use a newly created air force to support ground force through bombing concentrated groups of enemies. Our trust positions. This would be a great thing. Whoops. I did want to get to like here, military academy officers, but we don't have the political power right now. Um, air support and then excavate research laboratories. There are a large number of buried research laboratories with high end equipment that was overlooked due to its immediate la lack of use. However, we know that we now have the means to utilize such technology for our own benefits. Repair pre-war electronics. We got a lot of old, old electronic uh, devices from stores, houses, and laboratories. However, as most things kind of explosion of an atomic warhead, they just aren't in the best condition. An operation uh, rising Phoenix. So the portion of the city of the Phoenix is a crucial region to capture. It was shorn our front lines with the Legion and its destro destroyed ruins would serve as most more of a barrier than open desert. And here we are, everybody. We're currently doing the border raid. 
Uh, we've done Operation Rising Phoenix. Expand the reserves? Why not? Even those who aren't particularly fit for the front line can still be of some use in logistics or some other support roles. They can also fill in them for more strenuous roles and should be si should situation demand it. And we're trying to attack them with our special forces. I tried this off screen and it didn't go so well for us, but now we're using special forces and we should do okay. Right? Oh, this is a really good way of getting army XP too, so. So we'll see. Hopefully we win. Hopefully we win. Intensify patrolling. With an impending Legion invasion, we need to ensure that there are no vulnerabilities in our border that could be exploited by the Legion infiltrators. Which is very true. Ah, that's successful. Operation Rising Phoenix was a resounding success. We arrest the southern part of Phoenix of our from part of Phoenix hour of the clutches of the Legion. Now we must prepare for the pending invasion. Be ready when the time comes. Nice. Very nice. Also, I've been messing around with a couple more divisions and stuff like that. We are on Military Academy Officers. We're expanding the reserves. Testify patrolling, which would be good. Uh, plan evacuation routes, just in case. Uh, military training, which is okay. Um, so, yeah. Overall, not bad. Mm. You know this guy for now. Operational, rooted, and... There you go. Too. So, you're on the main lines. You are down here. Actually, you know what you, you do there. We have seven of these guys. Not bad. Put four divisions there. And take you off. Because, my god, we're not ready for this. Two divisions are not going to be enough there. Um, we'll keep stacking more bodies. That's pretty much all we, we can do. Hopefully I didn't miss the waterway. And we're going to need more divisions for this anyways. So, we'll see. Get ready, y'all. And also, we're going to need way more radars. Way, 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 way. Um, plan a matter of prospectors because we can. Crop rotation, pretty good. Get more outputs a lot ahead of time, but I don't really care. Uh, yeah. War, war never changes. Recon would be better. Yep. How <coughs> about that one? These are 30 day focuses, not bad. Surrender limit, plan evacuation routes just in case. We should prepare for the worst while we face off against the Legion. Plan for large scale evacuations will help ease some of the fears our soldiers have about leaving their loved ones to fight. Yeah? If I get a world goal in a couple of days, actually, you could probably still do this for now, maybe. Also, this is this is a general that we have that can only have two divisions, but apparently he can have up to only two max armies, which is not as bad. That's more, it's more like it. Mm, consumer goods. We want more stability. Uh, this stuff, save our PP for now. Um, retooling expert, that's actually not bad. 5% more base is not bad. Ooh, it's not bad either. Raul Tejada. Tejada. That's pretty nice. Decorated hero, that's not bad. Survivalist, that's okay. Experienced soldiers losses, wouldn't be as bad as well. Uh, follow the hang dogs, goodbye hang dog, or he knows. Oh, also before we do go to war. I'll just do that. So you got planes there. Get some planes over here too. Can we duplicate you? Live bombardment. Go and stop doing that. Stop patrolling, nice. Evacuation routes and military training. Every one of our citizens should learn how to defend themselves should the worst come to worse. Basic firearm training or organizational tactics could also greatly benefit them should they choose to fight on the front lines. We need way more radios and spec up equipment too. Hmm. Therapy relief is gone. Tucson, thank you. Even more money is always good. Oh, I always forget about this too. Officer Corps. We're already here. <clears throat> XP gain. Um. Design cost goes down, robots, vehicle perks. You get more organization. Recovery rate. Oh, what is this? Doctrinal schools. New crossroads. Oh, I've never done this stuff before. That's really cool. Hail and sleet. Treading lightly. Now ravines. Well, let's keep going with this one. Get actual organization is very good for us, too. As much as I want to buff up our, uh, you know, normal guys. I mean, our special forces. We have a t crap ton of infantry, so. A little bit ahead of time, that's fine with us, whatever. Well, we got a couple days left. We'll probably need to go to a two year conscription eventually. But we have 23,000 manpower already, which is pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. Um, foreign claims on their territory, a lot of manpower, up to 64. I'm going to say I let them come to our line first, because I just want to hold. That's my main plan, just hold. And just in case, let's save. Just in case. Even though, is this core territory or is this claim territory? Because if it's core, then we'll just advance. 
No, let's just go in. Taking a blue feather would help push up the line just a little bit, looks like maybe. I don't definitely don't want to advance under the here though. This is the main front that we gotta hold on to. So they can go to war with us whenever they want. Okay, so now they're going to go to war with us. Can we actually do anything against them? Maybe? War War never changes. The legions once again at war with the people of Arizona. We must persevere. Oh, yes. Freedom from tyranny. Daily compliance. Just for this. Order from chaos. The first part of the Arizona's Rangers motto. Just from villainy. The second part of Arizona's Rangers motto. The third part of the Rangers motto. So far doing all right. Oh, hello. Oh, they have another crap there. Well, that's not good. Alright, and we'll stop attacking very soon, too. Yeah. Oh, we're fighting Landis' cohort as well. Oh, crap. Complicated circuitry. And radar. Because we can. Because you can. Um. Um, I know, honestly, I'll probably do a lot of this off-screen, just because that would be good for us to do all three of these. Hold the line. More than 35% surrender progress. Oh, that's not bad. Push our advantage. Well, other than that, I think I'll end it there, just so I can do this a little bit more off-screen, because there's not much else that's going to be happening here. Maybe push our advantage. Push the Legion back. We cannot let them reorganize. We must not let them let up our offensive. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see if we can beat up both other Legions. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.